Hello and good morning from my beautiful flowers. I just, I had to start it. Gosh, I really love, I really love how it turned out. Um, but the reason I picked up my camera uh, a little earlier than I planned because I'm going to the salon today and I was like, oh, I'm going to pick it up when I'm at the salon and we can just like talk hair because I'm going to see a different hairdresser and I think we're going to try a different hairstyle. Um, but the reason I picked up my camera is because I remember that today's Friday. And what comes out on Friday? The mall. And I have not talked to you guys about the mall, which is crazy because in the last two weeks, when did it first come out? I think it came out two weeks ago and then it released like six episodes and then two more. And then now the last two are coming out today. But immediately I started watching it. When I was like midway through episode two, I stopped, paused, messaged my mom, my sister, my brother, watch this now. <laughs> It's a reality. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give any spoilers. You guys know how I feel about spoilers, so I'm not gonna give any spoilers. But it's a reality show, not a series. A reality show, but it's one of those competition-style shows, um, and it's so different from what's out there. Because I, I think we're kind of used to. Actually, I don't really know what's out there. I just know like Survivor and Amazing Race, and it's. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I just know it's so good. It's so good. And if, oh, no, we can't talk about it. We can't, and please don't talk about it in the comments because if someone hasn't watched it, and because I was going to say like, who do you think it is? Because I haven't yet watched it. And I don't want to, us to spoil for anyone. You can't spoil it. Please, let's not be those people. Let's protect the space on the internet. <laughs> but please check it out. It's a feel-good show because I, I, I don't know. I feel like I've kind of, I've not been really inspired to watch anything interesting re recently, um, at least on, on TV. And I, I feel like this is the first one that I watched and I was like, what are your thoughts? What are you thinking? Who is it? Ah! And my mom and sister are equally addicted. Uh, so I've just gone to check and it's not available yet, even though it's Friday. I'm imagining they're going by like some American hours i don't know so i don't know what time exactly it'll be available but um i just thought i should i just like take it and maybe download it and watch it whilst i'm in the salon later today and then so it's not on yet um and since i'm pointing the camera at my chest i thought i would share with you guys what it looks like oh i don't know it looks like significant bruising like you can see I don't know what you, I feel like when I look at it in person, it looks so much better than what it was. But then when I point the camera at it, it looks like a really sore uh, wound or like scar, like something traumatic happened. And I guess in some ways my, this part has gone through some kind of trauma, like skin wise, but um, but I'm, I'm really happy with the progress. I just, like, as I look at the viewfinder, I'm just like, it looks glaring. It looks super glaring, but maybe I kind of guess it is. I just know, as, you know, as the person who's been living with this cyst situation for, for a while, and if you're just watching, joining for the first time, I had a cyst and there was a whole, like, couple years of trying to figure out what, sorry about that, but I was just saying, if you're new here, I had a cyst and it, there was a whole um, thing around it. I've vlogged about it in the last few videos. So you can uh, start there. And I recently went, went to see a dermatologist about it. And I feel, I, feel, I feel really good about it. I still have to put product on it, some creams on it every day, twice a day. And I'm being very diligent about that. Um, but all I know is, let me see how I can do this. Gosh, on the viewfinder, it looks so... And I guess the cream also doesn't help and whatever's like the flakiness that's happening. Slight flakiness that's happening. But I guess that doesn't help. But just know, I feel much better. I'm going to have a follow-up with uh, Dr. Hashim in two, maybe three weeks because I might have to change my date now that I have something else coming up on that date. But um, I just thought I'd give you an update and tell you to watch the mall if you haven't already. And if you have, I don't know how we can discuss this because I really want to know what you think. 
but it was it's been such a good show and a light-hearted show a light-hearted show I've been enjoying that quite a bit all right everyone I'm really hoping that YouTube isn't gonna cancel me because Rihanna is playing in the background if if it's too loud I might just add my own uh, background music <laughs> just to kind of cancel that out but I am here at what is the official name? It's the it's the it's the what? Linton's Linton's Western Square. But the title there was like so. Oh wait, I think it was Beauty and Spa. But I think in my head, I think it's like a it's like a it's no. It even looks like a. I mean, it's really an, it's really elaborate. It's not like your average salon. And I have got here with me favorite. Favorite, can you do a quick <laughs> a quick wave? And we're just going through like hair but hair in detail in more detail than i'm used to he's already asked me a question and i'm like uh is it there just only one way to texturize apparently there's not just one way oh i've just noticed there's a little girl in the background i'm gonna try and use my body to kind of hide her so that i'm not infringing on her space but um what we're gonna do is see what we can do with my hair using of course the iconic curl expressions range. This is actually where the uh, the main event was when they were kind of launching and kind of introducing the brand. This is where it was held, um, and they have a beautiful ground. They have some beautiful grounds outside as well. I probably should do like a little salon tour because this is pretty elaborate. Um, but yeah, so he's setting up, and then we'll walk through the state of my hair in detail. I'm actually a little bit nervous about like what's gonna what's gonna happen, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, so what's happening is um, David is gonna brush my hair out and then essentially what he's doing is a consultation to see the state of my hair. How weak is it? How dry is it? Is it healthy? Like, what do we need to do more of or less of? It's gonna be a deep dive into the actual health of my hair, so. So the thing about the tongue and hair show, all right, guys, I'm going to have to jump in with the voiceover because I realized you couldn't quite hear everything that Favorite was sharing and he was dropping such gems. First was that the best way to detangle your hair is using a brush, and I have to agree. It just does a lot better than a wide tooth comb. It just gets the knots out. And then here... I don't know if you heard that, but he said my hair is strong and now I feel like I just need a metal, guys. I just... that It just it felt good. It felt good to know that he said my hair is strong. But then when we touched on the amount of moisture <laughs> it's not too good um, and he could tell just by like I don't know there was this technique he was using and he could feel that it was quite rough and he thinks it's due to weather and he was sharing that it's important to double down on my routine and just make sure that I'm not just enriching my hair with the right moisture but also you know lifestyle wise eating and you know drinking as much water as possible then we went through the range talked about the first shampoo which is an anti-buildup shampoo and then my favorite which is the moisture one and it just kick starts the process of um, the curls forming and it's a great detangler we touched on the two hair masks they're both really rich in moisture and they've got glycerin one has more than the other the one that's got uh, 2.5 percent is better on people who have fine hair and if you are looking for a little bit you know just more moisture and just more richness then the three percent hair mask is the one for you then we kind of touched on all the other styling products this density stimulator which i think everyone needs to have especially since we braid our hair quite regularly here if you've got afro hair that is um and yeah it's just the best thing you could use for edges and just making sure that your hair has enough density as possible uh talked about the curl reviver which is like a leave-in and the cream intense leave-in which you'll see him using much later on um also just want to note that all styling products are alcohol free which you know alcohol is, is usually helpful when it comes to styling because it helps your hair retain the curls and um, that structure but it also really dries out your hair so this line is built to really just bring that moisture back into your hair and then we went into the actual um, masks and he put that on my hair and he put me in a steamer uh, because it helped I, I guess the the steam just maximizes the benefits and it just makes sure that 
the the product penetrates my hair and then we got into the styling he started by spraying the leave-in conditioner all over my hair then he went in with the cream intense leave-in and this one he put in section by section and then followed up with the mousse and this was like the perfect trio situation because the curls came out so strong my goodness Um, and then as he was doing this part right here, he was using the Absolute Oil Repair. He just put a little bit on. It smells so good. It smells so good. And it's also got lots of benefits. Um, yeah, and then the rest of the time, we just kind of spent it laughing and just, it was so lovely just hearing Favorite's journey. But it was also really hilarious. I really think he needs like, I don't know, a show, a podcast to just kind of share what <laughs> what he went through and kind and how he got to where he is today. It was so funny. Um, but yeah, that was uh, everything and the gems that I wanted to share with you. We're back here, and now before the music, takes me. Hi! <laughs> morning hello let me switch the car off um i i oh, okay and wait for that um as you'd have seen in the clips before i was at the gym i don't know if you'd have known that actually from that clip but i had a workout this morning and went and had a quick breakfast and i'm now at provisions kenya um for a gardening class I'm not gonna lie I'm actually really excited Patricia sent me um, sent it to me a few days ago and I was like you know you know and that was inspired by something my my cousin was um, saying to me but it was just the idea of like just doing these things that bring you joy and I don't know when I think I don't know like if you're interested in like pottery just like go and take a class on pottery and even if it's just you alone doing it do it I was even thinking about like possibly doing a solo trip later this year and not it being like we need to have like multiple people um, involved I've just realized that there's people who are driving in and I'm talking to myself and I must look like a lunatic oh there's Patricia um, but yeah I just I um, I'm now here <laughs> I need to stop talking because I must look ridiculous just uh, a, talking in, to myself in a car, but <laughs> there she is. I think she's gonna park on a, yeah, almost next to me. Yeah, right next to me. Um, but yeah, I uh, we're doing pottery. We're doing, a, no, pff, we're doing gardening. We're doing a gardening class. Today, I've got a couple of questions that I wanna ask the instructor. 
of the person who's taking the class. Um, and then afterwards I have lunch with a friend of mine called, um, called Mark and then reading my book. That's really my priority. Oh no, and possibly like going over an edit, but I really have to go through this book of mine, this misery, which also, if you haven't gotten, it's still available at, uh, educate yourself at Westgate. Um, so check that out. I think I'll try and link them. They must have it online as well. So I'm going to link it. Um, but Patty hasn't seen me. Hi, babe. P Patricia. Patty. Hi. You, you can't see into the car. You can't see into the car? I don't, I'm not sure I look. Oh, but also it's good that you, I'm not like, anyway, I was just vlogging, but let me come in. Okay, let's go in. And I've always just talked a lot about plants. Plants has been all that I've And I've just wanted uh, plants in the window, so you have a sunny spot in the top. So if I, if I take a bit, I can ease it out. Some of them are easier than others with the bottle cap. And the moisture, the evaporation, causes it to lose. First of all, another thing is sometimes it's hard to tell which is top from bottom. So this is so the, this has a cup concave on the top. So I do it like that. I don't I don't want it to come in touch with water because it will it it, it rots. But water to accumulate and then it really sprays out. You know, it's sort of breaking down. So it's it's not just it's, you're not really sieving any much as fine. So this just so great and make it like a better cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do they call it? Viola. 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 And they're all types of colors. Actually, mm -hmm. and if you've ever dropped one, you know they're very good. They have the wine bottles. They even have a nice tin of blue that they like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll explain. Okay. Um, let me go back to the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a great example. This one, I am a bit. I could drill a hole into this. It would take longer. I'd be more careful about it, and I'd just be worried because it's so thick. But this, I've done it before. I've seen it. And what I'd do is, I just do this. Oh, oh wow! You're already drilling in, yeah. So I put meaty like this. Pruning this, then? So far, I haven't needed to. The side of the fries. Oh my god. I'm gonna jump in. Salad. Mmm. in barat spice with pomegranate seeds. Mmm. Oh, the cauliflower croquettes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay. Have to come in there? What? Just come, just come here and wave to like just. You have to wave or something. Yeah. Here, here, here. Uh... <laughs> yeah, just a quick wave. Hi, hi. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Guys, ooh, you are so wonky. That's a little bit better. I am so oily, as per usual. Just trying, 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 all over the place. But um, I just wanted to brief you on my day because it was just so lovely. It, uh, the gardening class was so nice. And it's just, it's just something, it's so different from what I'd usually do. I, I get, I just get like maybe a little uncomfortable or shy or nervous around um, new people and people that I don't really know. Um, but even before I knew for sure that Patricia was there, I was like, gonna sign up for this. Because more than even that initial like discomfort of like, oh, I don't really know anyone, is the excitement to learn more about something that's bringing me so much joy, and that is 
my plants and just making sure that everything is good i actually i am because of that i know for sure that there are two plants i'm going to take back to plants galore which i should also mention um uche who's the guy who was taking the class he's so knowledgeable he just like he's he's on another level i've never met anyone like him and i know a, a couple of like plants enthusiasts but n like he's on another level but he uh, spoke highly of plants galore, which is where I've gotten my plants before. He also did say it, it's costly, so it's, it's more pricey than your average place. But it just reaffirmed that I'm on that, like, thank goodness that he feels like, yeah, they like I would, you know, I would get my plants from them. But <laughs> knowing him, he would do every like he he's he's on a, like he's making his own bonsai trees. Okay, so he's on he's on he's on another level. So good, he's so good. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, plants galore. No, yeah, I was saying that there's two plants that I know for sure I will take to plants galore. The first is a peace lily, because of just how quickly the water drains through it. Like I'm going with my gut, which is just take it to plants galore. I do think it's doing okay. They probably will just look at it and be like, oh, you know, if it's working. I mean, this is pretty good. For I don't know what they'd say, but I want to take it to them. And then the other one I want to go take back to them is the philodendron birkin i don't know if philodendron is the right word to put before birkin but the birkin plant that is the new were plant i want to go take it to be repotted into a bigger plant because i'm not like i'm not happy with with how squeezed things are in there um and he did tell me i might need to repot it in six months but truth is i think i should have just done it as I was buying it not wait that many times that that long and then another question I had was I noticed that my um, pots sometimes would get ants on the tray um, just in case anyone else has had the same thing and he was like well he's not particularly worried about that they're probably just like looking for water source because or just a source of water because it's been drier than normal and it's just been hotter which is ironic because it's the same um, information and conversation I was having with my hairdresser about my hair and my hair needs um, but he was like oh, you know I'm not sure I'd be like too panicked about it but just observe and see but there's two that I've noticed in the last couple of weeks I've seen more ants there than I usually would um, and then the other thing that I actually got really excited about was the earthworm that I saw in my little in my big uh, dumb cane that the big plant at the corner I just was like, well, given everything he said about earthworms and what like you want to have in your in your soil, which is like earthworms, I'm like, ah, oh. mm -hmm. anyway, that was it was just so cool, and there were like like-minded people. I think some were more advanced than others. Like people had been growing things for a long time, but it was such an interesting range. There was like men there, just like not because they were dragged there by their partners or whatever, but just because, you know, they're interested in plants. There were people much older. Um, it just was, I would 100% sign up for the next one. And I don't know how to make sure I know. I wonder if they have like a, a newsletter or something. But it was at Provisions Kenya. I'll link them down below. It's a beautiful space. Um, and, and then afterwards, I met my friend Mark. And it was just like a nice, long catch up. I think five. I was going to say five hours, but it's not actually more. Yeah, like for at least four hours, we were just like proper catch up. I tend to do that. Like I don't see people for months and I catch like that's, yeah, like deep down. You could, that's my introverted self. Just being like, I'm happy to see you once in a few months. But when I do just know there's so much love and we're, I'm going to be really open and honest about like everything that's been happening in my life. And it's not that many people, but Mark is one of those people. He's just, he's just so I don't know. I just love catching up and lots of like gems. He just drops lots of gems. He's yeah. Anyway, I am home now and I wanted to sign off this video because God knows how long it is. I don't know. I, I just usually just wing it and I'm like, hopefully we're going to make it in the 45 minute range. That's my goal. Like that, what, that's what feels good to me. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> May not be that long, but, um, yeah, and another update on my hair because I actually haven't talked to you since I had it done yesterday. This one has been so floppy from the morning and I tried to like squish it in, but it's just like, mm, no, we're looking to come up. But actually, let's do that um, before I sign off. So I 
put a headscarf on as I usually do every evening and then I woke up and I was like wow I don't know how this is gonna be <laughs> um, and when I went to the gym I just put a bandana like up in here up until here so that it can just hold my hair back and then when I was done with that um, actually before the gym I just did that and just fluffing it a bit was better because when I woke up it was like I had a helmet on if you know what that's like it like it's a shocker um and then afterwards i had this like pick comb and i just like fluffed it out and i actually think i like it better the more it ages um i will also say the hair is soft i don't know why i thought this kind of hairstyle leaves the hair like really hard uh and i guess some products may do that but i am here to attest to the curl expression range because it does not feel dry there were some parts i will say there were some parts that when he was taking out the rollers had a bit of like residue and that was from i guess it was a little too much product to put um and because i am i love this so much i love just like i miss this side of like my hair just the fact that i could do when i was full-on natural and when it was shorter i could do all these things and just I, I I miss this side of um of my hair, so I'm definitely gonna get um the necessary tools. We were joking about about that actually when we when I was at the Linton's salon, which also beautiful space. It's such a beautiful space. Um, but we were joking about how by the time I'm done, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, <laughs> just rolling my little steamer here. Like I'll buy the whole pretty much a whole salon. Or salon i'll buy a whole salon and um yeah no i'm not going to but i will buy some more hair tools because i want to i want to yeah i want to be able to recreate these curls i, I quite like them um but for now i'm gonna say good night and um sorry i've just thought about something what if i did conros but i put the same product i wonder if the curls last longer I don't know if that if I'm making any sense, but I'm just thinking about like now that I know the products to use and how exactly to use them, I wonder if I can recreate different like hair styles besides like the curls, like waves maybe if I do cornrows. I'm just thinking about it, but we'll see. I'm gonna be experimenting a whole lot in the next couple of months. But um enough yapping. Oh my god, it's eight minutes of me talking. Ah thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye! <laughs>